Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This video is about setting up your layout defaults for when you're starting up a project in KiCad and you finally get to the layout section. You want to have a set of, you know, you want to go through and make sure you're all of your settings are proper before you actually start doing your part, part importing and your placement and everything else. So let's go ahead and open up the launcher. We got our example blank project and we're going to open up the uh, layout editor here, PCP new. All right, so there's a couple things that we definitely want to get into place here before we start. First one is real simple. Uh, it's the page setup here. So this is basic things like your page size, your orientation, um, and personally, on these, I am in the U.S. I'm used to ledger size, which is also known as tabloid. Love my 17. I like that. Revision. This can be you know numbers, letters. Um, you could technically you could try and track this by your commit number if you're using uh, GitHub, but uh, for this we'll just call it A, and we'll just call this example project because that's the name of the project we're using, and then for this contextual electronics. Now if we look down in the corner here, this is a 11 by 17 page, and then if we zoom in, we can see that it actually named it example product project, uh, the name of the company, or well, in this case, the program, and we have Rev A over here. If we zoom back out, we uh, we can also add in preferences in the if we go to preferences and then general. This is another set of general setups here. Um, you, know, you can choose your inches or your units rather, your coordinates. You can also switch this over here. Um, you can set up your autosave, your rotation, and a whole bunch of other uh, features in here. Honestly, for most of the stuff that we're doing. We're going to probably stay, at least for the session one stuff, we're going to stay uh, with all the defaults in this in this menu, but I could very easily see some some people you know, preferring millimeters over inches, and that's just a, d a decision you have to make. Uh, but yeah, so this is a, this is a, you know, a couple other things you can do. Magnetic's also nice for snapping to pads and that kind of thing. Finally, the other big one is the design rules, and... We already there's a separate video actually for layer setup. Um, that's you know how you can set all your your different layers within the the PCB stack up and everything like that and all the however many layers you're going to have in the board. But we're actually going to go to the design rules here, and this has two tabs. First is Net Classes Editor. We're actually going to treat that as a separate video as well. But here we're going to actually set up the global design rules, and what this is is it's basically telling the program all of the different uh, sizes of traces and sizes of vias that we're allowed to have. Now if you go to your your board vendor you might see they have minim specified minimums of what you can and uh, you know what's the smallest size you can use. So some of the fabs I use say 6 mils uh, this this the default on KiCad is 10 mils um, and then for the diameters down here this refers to the outside di diameter of the the actual circle and then this is the drill diameter so that's actually the inside diameter if I show you here if we actually start drawing if we start drawing here we drop a via there we go and we'll end the trace so this is a 10 mil wide trace here and we can actually measure that if we hit the space bar we can go up here and that is 10 mils across and then here we can see well this might be a little harder with the grid if we switch the grid to a, uh, when we switch the grid up here, we can just switch it here. We can select the grid, or we can switch it up here. So let's go down to a one mil grid. If we select the center, we zero it out, and then we measure it to the edge here. We should be able to get to, it's about 18, it's really 17 and a half. You can see, or yeah, it's 17 and a half there. But that means that the, uh, the grid is actually, so that means it's, if it's whatever it's snapping to 18 mil, so that's really a 35 mil on the outside. And so what we have is an inside diameter of the drill, and then the outside is a 38, 35 millimeter, or sorry, 35 mil. <laughs> Don't want to get those confused. Um, and basically that's all defined here. So uh, if we go back into that menu, we go to design rules global design rules. There's a couple other things here. The default types, uh, through via versus blind and buried via. Through vias are the standard vias, and there's actually going to be another video about vias, so we'll talk about that there, but uh, 
suffice to say, the through vias are the more common ones. And then micro vias basically are, you know, a specialty via, again, something that we're not really going to use here, just because what it ultimately comes down to is if you use uh, more non-standard uh, features on your boards, you're going to end up paying more at the actual fab house. So we're going to just keep it as it is. So like I said, sometimes these go down to uh, 6 mil, so we'll can, oops, we can change that to 6. And then uh, maximum via di diameter, we're going to say that's 20. And then the drill, minimum drill at some of those houses are, is 13. And then for this, we can, we'll leave this uh, the same, actually we have to make this a little smaller to make it the micro via smaller than the regular via. And we should just hit OK to check. Yep, that all went through. And then, okay, so then here we can actually set up other uh, drills and diameters. So we can go ahead and uh, we can just, if we want to maintain at least a 7 mil annular ring, you can see that this has a 13 mil drill, and there's 7 mils between the drill and the, the via diameter. That refers to the 7 mil annular ring. We can make that bigger if we'd like to, but that's the absolute minimum that some fab houses will do. Uh, so we could say for the drill, we could say a um, 0 0.025, two, let's do four, two four mil drill, and then maybe a 0 0.034 diameter. So that means we'd have 10 mil annular ring there. For the tracks, we can have a, uh, we could see we already have 10 mils as a standard there. We can also do uh, 6 mils, which will be 0 0 0.006. We can do uh, a 12 mil. We can do 20, and really you can choose whatever you want. On the mill side, or on the, on the width of the trace side, that's really more up to you and what your preferences are. And like I said, um, this actually will impact our net classes, but we'll go over that in a separate video. So that's all good. Now if we do this pull down, we can see that we do have different traces. If we want to uh, start drawing a trace from here, we can draw it off of here. We can actually switch the width by hitting W. We can thicken it up or thin it down. See that gets it nice and thick there. And so we can have different uh, trace widths and everything like that. So uh, this, <laughs> so now our defaults are set. Obviously I kind of diverged into the uh, trace thickness and everything like that, but our defaults are set. Um, our grid we can switch back to five. Really want to go with the biggest grid that we can handle here uh, just because you know snapping makes it easier and if our footprints are created using larger grids as well, that's just going to make things a lot cleaner. Uh, so we always want to go as big as we can there. In terms of other preferences and setup we want, we could do display as well. We can see all of the how we actually show this. And some of these features are actually uh, selectable over here. But in terms of via shapes and the tracks and everything, we can actually set this just for our viewing of the actual layout. Uh, some some of these things might be personal preferences. Some actually might make it easier for you to view them. Uh, and so, track clearance is is uh, that's a nice thing that that actually draws on the outside of the trace as you're drawing it. Uh, net names, text, footprints, and others over here. Okay, so those we can keep as default to start with as well. And finally, I'd say uh, the text and drawings. This is another one that. Uh, you can see that this is obviously coming over from a millimeters to inches type of conversion because of those long, long, uh, long titles there. But basically, this is going to just set your your default text. So when it draws your ref des, when it draws your your uh, part names and everything else in there, it's going to have a general default size. So if you want this to be, you know, smaller or larger, so if we actually just drop in a component here. You can see there is a default text size as well, and we can actually have that changed so that it will uh, refactor and everything. The very last thing I'd say is that uh, you know I, I'm a really big fan of hotkeys, and if you don't, you know we can actually go in. Or let me show that instead. Uh, we can actually go in and actually change the hotkeys. Uh, so this is an easy way. You just click and and change it. Uh, we've got, had a previous video about hotkeys, but especially for layout, it's a very important thing to have a, a, a hotkey scheme that you're comfortable with. And so I highly recommend you know playing around with it and trying out 
uh, changing, maybe changing one or two and changing it back. Try saving your, your hotkeys um, and then reloading them just, just to get a feel for that because it's actually quite useful in this, in this context. All right, that's about it. Uh, hopefully your KiCad is uh, set up and ready to go, and, and uh, we'll start talking a little bit more about layout in future videos. Thanks for watching.